Hey, today we're talking HR. Um, now, you've probably heard the term slow to hire, fast to fire. Of course we have. Is that always the wisest course? Seems like we're always in a hurry to fill a position. There's a lot of work to be done. So, you put together a job posting. You start the interview process. And honestly, there's a ton of stuff out there about hiring. I particularly like Who by uh, Jeff Smart and Randy Street. Great book. I want you to make sure you focus on the soft skills. Now, in my case, we focus on the soft skills, the culture fit. Those are the toughest hiring mistakes to recover from. Tech stuff, yeah, that we can teach within reason. But how do you really get to know people during an interview? This takes us to the next part. Fast to fire. Look, as much as we take our time and make the best decision possible, sometimes it seems like we made the wrong hire. And some people say, slow to hire, fast to fire, and I don't necessarily disagree with that. But here's the thing. I want to know why it looks wrong. If it truly is a bad fit, soft skills, culture, or misrepresentation of skills, then yep, do everybody a favor, including the employee. Bye-bye. But what if it's a misunderstanding? Miscommunication. The, the new person has good ideas, but there's resistance. There might be relatively simple ways to recover this hire. And it's important that you make the effort to fix the hire. Now, by that, I don't mean at the expense of other employees, but you need to demonstrate to all employees that you've got the back of all employees, even the new ones. But when it turns into a bad situation and an employee is having a negative impact on the organization, it is time to cut ties. It's hard to let someone go. I've had to do it and I've hated it. Make sure it's for the right reasons. So, don't want to fire somebody? Fire off some comments. How you prevent it.